Today, we're going to get into why Tyler Conklin chose the New York Jets. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video. And today we'll be talking about why Tyler Conklin chose the New York Jets. Before we get started today, just want to mention that you can follow along with me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why. And also, I partnered with Ultra Game for this video. They sent me this awesome t-shirt and I'm doing another giveaway with them. So if you're interested in entering, we'll go through that and then we'll get into today's video. So it's very, very easy to enter to win with this Ultra Game. Here's what you have to do. Make sure you're subscribed to both me and Ultra Game. Link to that is in the pinned comment and in the description. I'll do both to make it nice and easy. Like this video and comment your favorite player on the New York Jets. We are giving away uh, a vintage ringer short sleeve t-shirt. It looks really cool. Uh, this could only be shipped in the U.S. So unfortunately, if you are overseas, can't ship it overseas. But anybody in the U.S. can get it shipped to them. Okay, so why did Tyler Conklin choose the New York Jets? Well, he was on with Jim Rome and he had this to say. So, uh, obviously, the arm talent, he can make all the throws, the arm angles. But I just, I thought um, his athleticism and mobility was, was huge, especially for a tight end. Just the amount of hidden yardage, you know, him getting out of the pocket and, you know, stick turns into a, you know, 40 yard gain down the field and just the opportunity for him to extend plays and, on top of that, make all the different throws that you've got to make on the football field. So, not too surprising. It's a lot of it has to do with Zach Wilson. And as we know, Zach Wilson didn't have the best of rookie years, he did look a little bit better. When he came back from the injury, but for him, it's the athleticism and it's the arm talent that really stood out with Zach Wilson. And that really helps a tight end because, you know, someone like Zach has the escape ability to extend plays. And then, you know, someone gets open eventually and, you know, you're able to find them. And last year, the Jets really didn't have any tight end uh, on the roster who could make plays. And then they went out in free agency this year and added two: one Tyler Conklin the other CJ Uzama, and then they drafted Jeremy Ruckert, who I think is probably the second best tight end in that class. So with Tyler Conklin specifically, I think he's going to get more targets than people realize. Um, you know, obviously CJ Uzama just played in the Super Bowl last year. I feel like he's the bigger name of the two. He's the more of the household guy, but they're pretty similar um, in terms of what they can produce at this level. Last year, Conklin had 61 catches for 593 yards and three touchdowns. And he was third on the Minnesota Vikings in terms of targets in the passing game with 87. Only Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen had more. No surprise there. But he was, again, third on the team in targets on a team that has, you know, Dalvin Cook. Uh, they have the Justin Jeffersons and Adam Thielens of the world, which obviously help in the passing attack. And they have an offense with Kirk Cousins who... He likes to throw the ball. That's There's no surprise there. He likes to throw the ball around the yard a little bit, but he was still able to rack in 61 catches. He was targeted almost 90 times. And while, yeah, C.J. Uzama's the leader, he's the veteran, and he, you know, again, probably more of the household name, I think Tyler Conklin's going to be very good for this Jets team. And there's a chance that I think he could even put up better numbers than C.J. Uzama. So I don't think we should sleep on him this year, but... Just looking at what he's been able to do in an expanded role, what we saw last year, I think he has a chance to be really good on this team this year uh, in a system that Mike LaFleur has made and designed that really is going to feature tight ends. I know that might be surprising for you to hear because last year the Jets didn't really do all that much with their tight ends, but it was because of the personnel why they didn't do it. Uh, they couldn't run the offense to the fullest potential with the guys like Ryan Griffin and, and Tyler Conklin. Oh, well, Tyler Conklin's here. I mean, uh, Tyler Croft, excuse me, and uh, Daniel Brown and, and those guys. Um, this is more, this is going to be more like what they want to do offensively. And not only are they going to help in the passing attack, they're going to help in the run game as well because all three of these guys, Conklin, Uzama, and Jeremy Ruckert, all of them can block. All of them are pretty good run blockers. Uh, so they're going to be on the field and utilized a lot more. And early on in the year last year, we saw Mike LaFleur try his damnedest to get his multiple tight ends on the field, but it just wasn't working. And if you watch Flight 2022, which was downright phenomenal, um, it was a great, great production. In the free agency episode, they're talking about tight ends and they're like asking the salary cap guy, can we get two? 
can they sign two tight ends because of how desperate they needed that position to be overhauled? And that's what they did. None of these guys who are going to be playing, you know, legitimate snaps, the top three guys, none of them were on the team last year. And everyone who was playing legitimate snaps is no longer going to be here. They're not going to be here anymore. Uh, Tyler Croft is gone. Uh, Ryan Griffin is gone. Daniel Brown is not going to be getting snaps. It, it's it's going to look completely different. Um, and it's something that we really haven't seen on this Jets team in a very, very long time. I can't think of a time where there were two tight ends to this level on the team at the same time. Obviously, the last time the Jets had a really good tight end was Dustin Keller. Um, he was Mark Sanchez's binky. He was his best friend. You know, d- when he's in trouble, he always seemed to look for him on third downs. And sure, you know, you had Jericho Cotri, who was clutch, and Braylon Edwards, who came up with some big plays. And Santonio San Holmes, obviously, was the flashiest of the bunch. But when, you know, push came to shove, it felt like more often than not, the young quarterback wanted to look for his tight end. And I think uh, someone who talks about it a lot, and for good reason, Green Bean, talking about, you know, a young quarterback and how important having a tight end is. It is. It's the truth. And now you have Conklin, now you have Uzama, now you have Ruckert. Um, so you have three guys who can play at this level, which is going to be exciting. So, uh, yeah, I just want to talk about Tyler Conklin um, and why he decided to come here. And it's obviously Zach Wilson. When Zach Wilson continues to develop and get better, more guys are going to want to come and sign up. But this is this is only the beginning. The Jets are building something here. If they take a legitimate step forward, We should see even more of this next year. So let me know what you think down in the comments below or on social media. Don't forget about the giveaway details down below. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll talk to you next time.